I've just arrived in Kazakhstan. Since the dissolution of the Soviet Union, the Kazakhstan boxing team has tallied an impressive 17 medals in 20 years. For a landlocked nation roughly the size of Western Europe, it's understandable that the Kazakh people have relied on the horse for centuries. But what might surprise you is that 55,000 tons of horse meat is consumed every year in Kazakhstan. Even the country's elite boxers attribute in part their success to the native cuisine, which includes large quantities of horse meat and horse milk. I'm here to explore how a country with a population of only 17 million people built an international boxing powerhouse, and why the country's most revered animal, the Kazakh horse, might be the secret ingredient. Under coach Eichenhoff, the Kazakh boxing team has won at least one gold medal in every Olympics since 1996, and they continue to dominate the sport. I'm here to find out why. This is a lot of food. Do you think the traditional Kazakh diet played a role in making your boxers so strong, so fast, so sharp? Well, <laughs> My name is Salia. I'm from Astana, and I'm the dietitian of Kazakhstan Boxing Federation. Do you think that the boxer's diet is part of the reason for the boxer's success? I think it's yes. Horses, they are growing open air, and it just uh, helps uh, in mountains. And that's why their meat so healthy. Horse fat, it's in the middle of animal and vegetable fat. Uh, horses have a special structure of their muscles, that's why they meat so lean. And their meat have a lot of hemoglobin and iron. What's the difference between horse meat and cow beef? Uh, horse meat, it's digested of eight times faster than beef. So I'll get all those grams of protein in three hours instead of waiting 20 hours? Yes. Why do you like coaching boxing? Kizinde boxshu bolup özüm şıkpagan jesiklerge alinde kazer bafkir bolandıktan so championler dayında oga tırsı batırım. The Kazakh boxing team has won at least one Olympic gold in every Summer Olympics since 1996. How are you so successful? Bu bizden blayet kanda Kazakh box tarihi var. Odan bölük. Kazakhstan'ın yeri bütün alem boyunca 9-cu oran alat. Ve o su yerde bizden ata babalarımız jayğana alıp qalğan yok ko. Bu sebepten o kan arqılı da berilet no küş, quat no batırlıq. Do you have a special bond with Danny R? Endi komanda kapitanı öte talantlı boksçı Danny R. Bu sebepten arine He's ranked number one in the world right now. He's favored to win in the Olympics. Do you think he'll win gold? Увидел Олимпийские игры 2000 года, когда Бельзация Тарханов и Ермахан Ибрани стали Олимпийским чемпионом. И с давних пор это моя мечта – стать Олимпийским чемпионом. How does your life change if you win gold? Я считаю, намного улучшится в лучшую сторону. Я стал национальным героем Калстана, как все становились наши боксеры, которые выигрывали золотые медали. 
и для себя как удовлетворюсь собой, то, что поставил цели и добился этого. I'm at a roadside stop here in Yermantau, Kazakhstan, about to meet a horse breeder named Daliet. He's been kind enough to invite me to his massive step farm to see what life is like out here, and also witness how he raises thousands of pristine horses. Salam. Salam alaikum. Daliet? Yes, nice to meet you. Очень приятно, Welcome to Kazakhstan. Uh -huh. Kazakh people uh, all of the time have uh, horses. Uh, that horses give for us meat, milk. It's uh, our transport. So the horses for Kazakh people is the uh, most important animal. When uh, you say Kazakh, in your mind comes horse. When you say horse, your mind comes Kazakh <laughs> man. <laughs> uh, horse is our culture. The price for one horse is in Kazakhstan about one thousand dollar. Wow. Yes. Do you think uh, anyone's ever stolen horses from you? Ah, of course. In Kazakhstan, it's popular. <laughs> yeah. To rustle, uh, to steal the horse. But if you want to take, uh, come and try. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever suspected someone of, of doing it? Of course. What happened to them? Not so good things. Not so good things. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do you love them? Oh, so of you don't want to hurt them? Yes. Does that stop you at all? Yes. It does. But you know, uh, Kazakh people like horses and they like eat the horses. <laughs> Are you going to watch the Kazakhstani team at the Olympics this year in Rio? Yes, of course. Wake up very early in the morning, they forget about work. Go to watch the fight. Do you think that the horse meat and the horse milk and the tradition of eating horses contributes to the boxers being so strong? Uh, I think so, because how I tell you, for example, uh, our uh, cowboys, they take just little piece of horse meat and this meat give a lot of energy, everything that he needed. Кобыла? Бля, у меня сука конкретные виды, да? Are you ready to slaughter your first horse? <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess so. They're bringing the horses together to catch one of them for slaughter. They just pulled her head west, and uh, our man here has the knife ready to cut the throat. It's important to say, I'm sorry, but it's not your problem. That's it's we, ours. Yes, it's our, but we needed the food, so sorry. Is she suffering right now? She has uh, some stress, stress at the moment, yeah. yes. So we must more quickly. More quickly, okay. Yes. Oh. 
How are you feeling? Feel you. Okay? Okay, yeah. It's very quick. Yes. Doesn't bother you? No. No? Everyone knows how to do everything. Yes. How to cut it, skin it, Everybody. gut it, yes. chop it up, separate it. Every, everybody knows. Yes, of course. I think there's a lot more respect in this way of killing and eating this animal that just gave its life for you. There's something actually really kind of beautiful and respectful about watching Dalet and his family get in a circle around this horse and saying, thank you. I think that put me at ease in terms of how I felt about it. But then they sliced open the gut and that kind of that's when the squeamy stomach started. Now, we're about to drink some uh, salmel, which is horse milk, fresh horse, horse milk. Fresh horse milk. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Wow. You like it? Yeah. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> it's so sweet. Yes. You can taste. The grasses. Yeah. The grass that she eat. Yeah. So. And this well, is. This is a kumis. Uh huh. It's fermented, so yes. there's some alcohol. Okay. Yes. I like the salmal a lot better, but uh, this is really interesting. Kumis is specific. Yeah, it's like it's like milk with apple cider vinegar in it. It's kind of hard to drink. It's like really a shot of sour bitterness in your mouth. It's helping for stomach, for your, uh, how you... Your respiratory system? Your respiratory system for everything, so. Okay. Drink it. This is a Besparmak, our the most important meal for Kazakh. Besparmak means uh, five th uh, uh, fingers. You must eat by uh, by hand. Ah. Uh -huh. And I want to present you, uh, brother, uh, Karshiga. Karsha. Karshiga. Karshara. Karshiga. Karshara. Karshiga. Karshara. Ra. 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 Karshiga. Очень приятно. Kashiga, this is a pole. This is the kaza, this is the ribs. Mm. It's very important how much fat. Next, this uh, piece we give for the most important uh, guests. This is a shujak, shujak, traditional Kazakh sausage. Oh. <laughs> Take it, mm -hmm. you must uh, eat it. Together with together, fat, together. yes, okay. it's important. Okay. Eat it together, taste it. Wow, it's like yes. melts in your mouth. Yes, it's yes, buttery. Yes. yes, it's delicious. Yeah, start understanding the Kazakh. I do. <laughs> I could eat this a lot. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a treat to get to taste it this fresh. Yes, organic, mm. without uh, feed loss, with everything, just on the. Uh, this horse run on the pasture, eat just on the grass. For Kazakhstan. For Kazakhstan. <laughs> The Kazakh horse is a prized possession, and as such, its meat is sourced, butchered, and sold as ethically as possible. 
Kazakh meat is never frozen, so the time between slaughter and consumption is relatively quick. Before the horse meat can be sold on the market, it undergoes a thorough, detailed inspection process. Very carefully, a sample is tested for any disease or radiation. Then the horse meat is stamped with approval by the head of quality control before finally being able to sell for profit here, in one of the most reputable meat markets in Astana. We're at a meat market right now, waiting on Deniar to come pick out which cuts of meat we're gonna have for lunch. And uh, everyone is so cheery and friendly. Hey, bro. How are you? How are you? What's up, man? How are you doing? Good. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for inviting me to uh, to have lunch. Bugün biz biz parmak neyim? Sket ya zaten. Ah, beş parmak. Beş parmak. Okay. Beş parmak. Ah, beş parmak. Yetim kilogramım on sekiz yüz yedi sekiz yüz on yedi yüz yedi. Yeah, azdır o. Kutur kuru turmuşsun da. Turmuşsun da. <laughs> Welcome. My house. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Those are just selling. Are they uh, fighters? They're just fighters. Yeah? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Urla. Whoa! One more time. Oh, this guy is strong. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, father, father, oh. strong. And professional, Heavyweight. professional in California. <laughs> it's my father. Uh huh. The mama. I saw him. I saw you yesterday at the gym. My collection. Oh wow. Yeah. This is the collection of trophies and medals that Daniel has won. He spent his whole life competing, not competing, winning. From when he was 15 years old, he was already a boxing champion. Did Denny R cry a lot when he was a baby? No. 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 Stoic, strong, tough. <laughs> <laughs> It smells amazing. It's the fat that gives it the flavor. Yeah. Kurt, bulda Kazakhstan destul tamam. Kusmak bağırsak. Yani, yani deniz, erimşik deniz, erimşik. Erimşik kaynatılan, erimşik. Sosmat. Tamam, siyedobni. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm going to see it. You are a celebrity, a world champion. How does it feel to have your son represent Kazakhstan at the Olympics? I'm very excited. I'm very excited to be in the Olympics. 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 What would it mean for your family and Kazakhstan to win gold? As members of the boxing community told me, the key to their success is the combination of factors. Their strong national pride that roots deep, the nutritional value of their diet, and their total devotion to the sport they love. For centuries, nomads depended on their horses for transportation, food, and survival. The horse was the fundamental tool they needed to defend themselves and preserve their lands. 
Kazakhstan's elite boxers possess an ancient spirit of tenacity and will that drives their success. Like the powerful horses that roam the region, the Kazakh boxers embed the same fighting spirit, muscular power, and dominant strength. This unity between man and beast remains unparalleled in any other culture. <laughs>